What are the worst cities in Turkey? Don't go to these cities if only you really don't want to be disappointed. Is it true that Ankara is really slow and nothing happens there? What should you expect of Konya? What should I should not do there? Hi, hello, this is Lucy. Make sure that you are subscribed. Let's travel the world together. Ankara is the official political capital of Republic of Turkey. And the second most popular city in Turkey with a population of more than 5 million. It's also the third largest in Turkey due to presence of the main state centers and the residence of the President of the Republic governmental ministers, deputies of the People's Assembly and ambassadors of countries of the world, Ankara is the most organized and modern Turkish cities, as it has a developed infrastructure and various public facilities that increase the quality of life and life in it. If we consider regional features, then there are many famous places in Ankara. For example, in the area of Chankaya, which is considered in the center of the city, there are some of the busiest streets in the city, such as Tunali, Hilmi Street and Kizilai Square. He finds bars and cafes where music of all genres is played. Also in the area are restaurants and cafes with different concepts where you can try local and international cuisine as well as fast food. They are easy to find by the crowd of young people nearby. So if you don't like crowded places, don't go to Ankara. Especially, don't go to Ankara if you don't like the history and famous sightseeing places, which could amaze one who sees them. There are usually no traffic jams in Ankara, and if there is, then the traffic flows smoothly, like water compared to any other metropolis or capital. There are many roads, so you spend less time on traffic while saving money on gasoline and more money for yourself. So if you love to spend hours in traffic jams, don't go to Ankara. Edina, Turkey's fourth largest city, is a fast-growing agricultural and industrial boom town, the commercial capital of the eastern Mediterranean coast. Edina is hardly a tourist mecca. High heat and humidity in summer, swirling traffic and limited sights keep it that way even though it has a good selection of hotels, mostly for business travelers. It's an important transport point, however, as you can find yourself spending the night, visit the 16th century Ulu Jami or Great Mosque, the ethnography museum set up in a sweet little crusader church, the original museum with lots of good Roman artifacts, and the Taj Kupru stone bridge built by Roman Emperor. Hadrian over the Seyhan River. Why people hate Adana? Adana 
is that noisy Turkish town where locals always busy with something. If you don't like noisy towns, you won't love Edina. Don't want to be surrounded by locals? In Edina you'll almost won't see foreigners often, so you may be the only tourist in the town. Konya, Turkey is often referred to as most religiously conservative city in the entire country. A more traditional town that many, Konya is famous as being a burial place of Rumi. The Istamid Islamic poet and philosopher and founder of the Mevlevi order, otherwise known as the order of the whirling dervishes. Even today, Konya is the most religiously conservative city in Turkey. The city's history dates back to 3000 before Christ and it was a prominent settlement for several of the dynasties and empires which followed eventually becoming the capital of the Sultanate of Ram during the Seljuk era. Today, Konya is a fascinating blend of ancient and modern, with antique mosques, traditional Sejuk architecture and a maze of narrow market streets, surrounded by more contemporary university and shopping malls. The city centre is focused around this market district, an important Seljuk mosque on Alardin Hill, Tepesi and the Mevlevi Museum, which attracts Muslim visitors from all over the world each year. Don't like mosques and Turkish traditions? Don't go to Konya, especially it's a no as the food is extremely delicious. Leave those tasty ones to me or the locals. Mersin, also known as Ichal, is one of the most modern provinces of the Palm Lines, Avenues, City Park and modern hotels and a good base for visiting the nearby historical sites and beaches in the southeastern part of Turkey. Mersin is the largest port on the Turkish Mediterranean region and one of the most crowded cities of Turkey with approximately 1.8 million population. The 
there is also a free trade zone here. And it is a business center. In Mersin, you may find all the comforts of a modern city and all the characteristics of the Mediterranean cities. Fish is abundant as well as the most delicious in this region. And in the Mersin fish market, you will find inexpensive fish restaurants, which are really enjoyable for those who love fish and raki or wine. Although Mercy dates from only the 19th century, it occupies an extremely ancient site. At Mount Yumuktapa, the excavations proved that there has been 12 successive settlements beginning from the Neolithic period. Is Mersin the worst city in Turkey? If you don't like to live in port cities, Mersin would be the worst city for you. Especially, you would like Mersin if you want a beach vacation and all-inclusive hotels in the city. You definitely need to drive for a half an hour for perfect beaches and hotels outside the city. Don't go to Mersin if you don't like Tantuni. There are a lot of cafes and restaurants that serve this tasty dish. More or less, four places to stay away from Ankara, Edina, Konya or Mersin. Which one do you love and which one you hate? <laughs>